A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus continued to speak to the crowds about John the Baptist. To what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He has a demon. The Son of Man came, eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Brothers and sisters, uh, we know that it's impossible to please everybody. John the Baptist came and they said, he's not like the one that should be. The Son of Man came and they said, no, no, he's too loose here and there. God can't even please all of us because we have our own imaginations, very selfish ones often, of what we want, what we desire. We know very well that uh, we cannot acquire the wisdom of eternal things from science, from our own knowledge, because it's not able to be under our dominion. It is something that is under the dominion of God, and that's why we need God to teach us about it. But like with children, it's uh, the more a child is eager to learn, to come to new things, the faster they grow, they develop, they become wiser. And the same thing goes for us. We become wiser, we grow in our morality, in our conscience and ability to know good and evil when we open ourselves to God. But in order to do that, we must remember that we are not all-knowing. Something that comes very hard for us to come to terms with. In order to grow in that area of our lives, we need to be open to God's Word. We need to trust Him, and we need to put that, what we learn, into practice. I mean, we all do that. I wish you a blessed Friday and a blessed time of Advent for all of you. God bless.